you doing? I'm glad that you're tuning in. Glad to see you. Remember, as always, let me know that you're listening, that you're watching. Uh, comment in those sections and say hey to me so I can know that you are there. So we're going to get into our lesson on today. I'm so excited about it. And we're going to be talking about what does God like? What is it that he likes? So let's pray. And that's while I'm praying, get your phones, your Bibles, whatever you have your Bible on, faith kids, and let's get into his word on today. God, we just come just to thank you for this day. Father, we thank you that you are Lord over our lives, God. We thank you as we're studying and meditating upon your word this day, Father God, that your Holy Spirit will speak to us, God, and reveal what your plans and purpose is for us through this word on today, God, that we will better understand that we will serve you more perfectly in your son Jesus name we pray amen all right faith kids getting in your Bibles turn to 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 and we're gonna find out what God likes and what is it that he likes on today of course our memory verse is gonna be the same in our text it's gonna be 2nd Corinthians 9 and 7 so we'll read our memory verse first and then we'll go back up to verse to another verse so in our memory verse verse 7 it says you must each decide in your own heart how much to give and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure for God loves a person who gives cheerfully all right fake kids in our memory verse what does God love he loves a cheerful giver. And that's what we're going to talk about today, being a cheerful giver. So think about this, fake kids. When you have someone maybe coming to your birthday party, giving a parent or grandparent, giving you that gift. And what if they just like, here, take it, huh? Do you think you like to, a gift to receive a gift like that, that someone is giving it to you all mean and, you know, or maybe sometimes you don't want to give up a gift. Maybe you brought your friend that special gift that you yourself like, and it's like, I don't really want to give it to you, but take it. Oh, that's not what we're supposed to do. And that's not like what God likes either. So when we're giving to him, whether it's money, whether it's our time, whatever we're giving back unto the Lord, he loves us to give it happily, cheerfully. Don't be all sad and uh, mad and upset that you're giving. No, he loves a cheerful giver. And just like you don't want anyone to give you something mad, you'd be like, just keep it, right? I would. I'd be like, don't give it to me because you really want it or need it, right? So God loves the same way. He loves a cheerful giver. So let's back up in verse number six and get into our lesson on today. We're still there, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. And it reads, remember this a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop so this scripture is telling us fake kids that we're as we're giving it sowing and reaping we're talking about sowing and reaping so when you sow you're giving so when you sow your seeds or you giving your money and giving back give back to God he says if you give a little you what when you reap that means you're getting a harvest you're getting it back you're going to reap a little so whatever we give we give a little bit we get a little bit we give a lot then we get a lot so think about it if we're just giving a little bit what do we want to receive from god you know we always want god to give us a lot right give us everything right so what are we giving back to him not because we we just paying him because we can't pay him but we're giving because we love him and we know that he supplies all of our needs. He take care of us. And whatever we give, he's going to give it more back to us anyway, more than we can ever ask or think. So we always want to sow, give to God. How? Abundantly. We want to give generously to him so that when we receive, we're receiving it back generously. So of course, in our memory verse, you must each decide in your own heart, how much to give and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure for God loves a person who gives cheerfully. So when you give, he didn't say, you know, give, you need to give all this, all you got. No, he says purpose in your heart to give, but we give because we love him. So when we love him, we don't just give a little, we're going to express our love to him and we're going to give how fake kids. We're going to give 
bountifully, right? And not only bountifully, we're going to give cheerfully. So let's continue to the next verse. It says, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scripture says, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. So faith kids, as we are given unto the Lord, we want to give freely and bountifully. We don't just want to, you know, give just a little bit and receive a little bit. And then we want to be happy when we're giving unto the Lord. He hasn't said what we give, but we give because we love him. We give because we know who he is in our lives and what he's done for us, superseded above all that we know, all that we think about, all that we ask about. So we want to be what kind of person, faith kids? We want to be a, a cheerful giver. And we want to be a giver. God wants us to give. He's blessed us and we are to do what? Bless others. So he wants us to give. We're, you got those birthday monies. Yeah, faith kids. I know we give you money. We give y'all money for your birthday, right? I know grandma and mama and auntie and all those friends, they love, we love giving. So because what? God gave to us. So we want to give. So when you're receiving all those that money for your birthday gifts or you're receiving for your chores at home, make sure you purpose in your heart to give back unto the Lord because he's blessed you. And so you want to give. He says what? He didn't tell you, but he wants to give. But we know that most of the time we're, we say tithing, we, that you give your tithe, that you give your 10%. But we also want to not just limit it to 10%, faith kids, because God does so much for us. So when we give, we want to just give abundantly. Even though you can start with the 10%, that just gives you a regiment. Oh, okay, I know that this, I need to do this. But, but get in the habit, not just that. You always want to go above that tent. Give the tent, praise God, it's good. But I always think, I'm not just gonna do the little bit, just the minimum of what's required. Well, God just said, I just need to give a tent. No, no, remember that was Old Testament, right? So we're not up under that law. So he didn't strict it to the tent, but the tent just gives us a foundation or a guide that we can go by. But we give when we give out of our hearts and what we purpose, what you purpose in your heart to give unto the Lord. And that's what we want to do fake kids. We want to purpose in our heart to always give. We want a purpose that we're giving, not grudgingly. We're not mad when we get it. We're not upset when we're giving. We want to give cheerfully. When you're paying that unto God, when you're giving to others, when you're blessing other people, you want to give it to them also cheerfully because God loves what? A cheerful giver. So fake kids, thank you for tuning in. I hope, know that you have been blessed on today remember each week each day this week read over your memory verse study that we are supposed to how we're supposed to give and what we're purposing our heart to give and know that god loves you and as we leave on today fake kids remember allow the lord face we pray that his face shine upon you that he's gracious unto you fake kids and that he will give you peace be blessed fake kids See you next week.